This is the drone footage of the Starfest 2018 Concours de Elegance. This is the front of the Mercedes-Benz factory at Vance, Alabama. It's sometimes called MBUSI. The white car at the center bottom of the screen is a 1913 Mercedes. We'll see more of that later. Here around the uh, parking lot for the visitor center of the factory, you can see uh, almost a hundred Mercedes cars and SUVs and sports cars that were lined up for judging. The cars in this area were in the display class only and it, you just saw some of the trailers of the cars that weren't driven were taken to the event. This event was about 40 miles from the hotel, making it a little bit difficult. This, this is the main judging area that we're approaching now. You can see a lot of SLs. various vintages in various conditions. The concourse is judged on three factors. Cleanliness, originality, and condition. As we follow this golf cart, through the area, you can see the great divergence in various models that were there. I was one of the judges, and it was very difficult to find the cars to judge in your class. Each car was classed because they weren't parked right next to one another. Most of the time the drone was flying high enough so no one could hear it, but there were points where it was closer to the ground and people could actually hear it and see it, and you may see them pointing at it. There were some very interesting uh, vehicles uh, in the concourse, and as we get to them, over the next 10 minutes I'll be pointing those out. These are the SLs. There are a number of uh, R129 chassis there. That's a group of judges walking to find the cause that they needed to judge. There's a white eight and a half by 11 placard on each car with the judge's deductions for the less than perfect conditions that they may find on the car. If you've got very sharp eyes, you'll probably be able to find me as in one of the judging teams. That was my red, cardinal red, C300 coupe in the lower left-hand corner. The cars with the hoods up were because the engine compartments are judged in a concourse de elegance. Again, for originality, cleanliness, and condition.
during judging, the owners aren't allowed to be polishing their cars. There's my 300 C300 coupe at the end of the row. To judge the trunk, everything in the trunk has to be taken out. That's what you see behind the cars. When you get close to the visitor center, you'll see some very special cars. Here we're going for a close-up, I think, of the Mercedes Star, which revolves above the top of the plant. Extremely impressive. Now this building we're flying over is only the visitor center. There's a tech center as well as extremely large factory buildings, which are the largest buildings on the roof. That's a good overview of all the vehicles in the judged part of the concourse. We're coming down for a closer view of some of the vehicles. As you can see, Mercedes placed the factory advance because it's in the middle of no place with a rail line. The white car with the hood open, the, the trunk open, and the car next to it with the trunk open are extremely special vehicles. These vehicles participated in the cannonball run and actually won with the lowest possible time beating all other vehicles. There, one is a Mercedes S-Class and the other one is an uh, SE SLS. They were fitted with like 70 gallon gas tanks in the trunk. Three radar jamming systems, two uh, radar detectors front and rear
and I'm not going to tell you what the elapsed speed, average speed was, but it was north of uh, three, fi three figures. And the, the race ran from New York City Midtown to Redondo Beach. Those were the cannonball run cars. Here we're flying over the uh, trailered cars and the street class, uh, the non-judged cars. There's one of the Airstream Mercedes. The weather for most of the day was excellent. As we got later in the day, it began to rain and the drone wasn't up in the air naturally during the rainstorms. In a few moments, we'll take a closer look with some still photos of the 1930, 1913 Mercedes-Benz racer. This car actually was taken out on the track at Talladega and allowed to go at 50 miles an hour. It's a chain drive car. This is a close-up of the engine compartment. Driver's instrumentation. Notice that the steering wheel is on the wrong side. And a rear view of the vehicle. Here are some of the earlier SLs. The other one looks like a 240D. The folks entering on the Left edge of the screen, the one man with the red cap. These two are two of the judges judging the vehicle for, again, cleanliness, authenticity, and condition. It's interesting that Mercedes-Benz would not allow us to wash the cars at the uh, facility. Here you can see it's, it's raining as people have umbrellas. Uh, th th there were problems with EPA if they had hoses and washed cars outside and the water could get into the retention pond.
They had refreshments and lunch inside the plant building there. That's the highway that passes right in front of the Mercedes-Benz plant. One of the reasons the plant was located in Vance, 47 miles from Birmingham, was to put it in a different county with a lower tax rate. Let's fly over and take another look at the vehicles. If you make an appointment, you can tour the plant, but you advise to be there exactly on time as they have only one or two tours a day. When we were there, we toured the plant where they made the C-Class. It was interesting, too, because they had some vehicles that we weren't supposed to see, including a C-Class station wagon. Looks like the judges are inside the engine compartment of my car at that moment. I actually won my class uh, for uh, modern vehicles in this concourse. I won first place. They only had a couple of golf carts unlike the villages where everyone has a golf cart. Here we're coming up on the Cannonball Run vehicles. I love that sign in front of it that says 55 miles an hour crossed out. They went coast to coast in, I think, less than 27 hours. You figure the distance from Manhattan to Redondo Beach. They were moving. 